Michael Askergan ran the Emergency Operations Center at Tyndall Air Force Base during Hurricane Michael. It's tremendous responsibility and, and the one thing I take pride in is the fact that uh, we had 93 members right out the storm and all 93 members survived. He says that everything happened so fast that it is hard to describe his emotions. I was primarily concerned with uh, maintaining situational awareness, uh, making sure our folks were safe, uh, and making sure that we were ready to recover the base. So for me, uh, time flies when uh, in an environment like that, um, and you just get focused on the mission and doing the mission. When they came out of the rideout shelter, they knew what was ahead. Um, just from years and years of being civil engineers and having gone through multiple deployments and um, having done this job for a while now, we, you know, you got to start with the basics and it starts with uh, making sure you have power, making sure you have water, making sure uh, you have restrooms, those basic life necessities that you need. Askrigan compared military installation to a small city. We have many of the same problems and many of the same challenges and many of the same opportunities that local communities have. He had taken command of the Civil Engineer Squadron 86 days before Hurricane Michael and says he was still adjusting when the storm hit. The storm really changed everything for me. The past year for me has been focused purely on how do we rebuild Tyndall? How do we take the opportunity that's been given to us to build the base of the future, to go forward? He has worked on bringing missions back to the base and he is now focusing on the long-term plan. Now we know we're going to have three to five years that we're going to have to live at Tyndall while we rebuild Tyndall. So what are those intermediate concerns that we have? How do we get people into better facilities to get them through the rebuilding process? And then after that, now it's becoming the more long-term steady state. Askrigan says his 275-person squadron rose to the challenge. The Civil Engineering Squadron is a group of men and women that have come together uh, post-storm uh, to do some incredible things. In a, any given year, our engineering flight awards about $30 million in construction. We're on track this year to award over $290 million in construction. He is looking forward to what Tyndall will look like in the future. For News 13, I'm Taylor Rambo, Panhandle Strong.